YouTube fam, I'm Kiana. Welcome to Kiana's Creative Closet. So today's video is a fun one. I'm doing a fall lookbook. I'm going to show you how to style some pieces up for the upcoming fall season. Right now, as I'm filming this video, fall is actually two days away. Fall is the season when the girls who can dress show you who they are. So I'm so excited that fall is here. Um, and I want to show you just how I just pull things from my closet, um, old things mixed with a few new things to kind of, you know, get my jish, jish it up for the upcoming season. Um, I'm also showing you a bag today. I have a collaboration with Koei Bags. I did a collaboration with them back in May and I showed you a beautiful um, Chanel vanity case bag. Um, today I'm going to show you a Gucci bag. So if you're interested in seeing what I styled up for you today and you're interested in the bag, go ahead and continue to watch. Let's hop into it. I will say that this is a replica company. So if you are not into replicas, um, you can go ahead and skip through it. But I definitely want to show this bag because it is it, y'all. The bag is gorgeous. I'm so glad they reached out to me again and sent me another bag because the previous bag, the Chanel, it was giving. <laughs> it was giving. And this Gucci that I'm about to show you is really giving. So let me show you. So first off, I'm going to show you the box. And this does, I hope it's focusing. This does come in um, a Gucci box. So you do get a box with it. It looks just like I have plenty of Gucci boxes in here. Because that is um, the designer that I normally shop at. Um, I do have, y'all know, y'all seen before. I do have original authentic Gucci bags. And now I have a replica, but you can't tell me anything because it does not look like a replica. So you get this box and the box is really good for my um, ladies who have like closets, you know, similar to mine in the back where you like to keep decorative pieces on hand. The box didn't come with the ribbon on, but a child, if you say you want a gift, <laughs> you want to give somebody something and you want the whole ribbon thing, it does come with the ribbon. You will have to tie it yourself. Um, I don't need that. Um, and then you get a Gucci, I guess this is like, it looks like a little credit card, but I guess this is, um, I'm not sure. I don't even know. I got to look at some of, in some of my boxes and see, did this come with one of some of my original pieces, but that comes in the box. And then you get your whole receipt. Um, so you do get a receipt. Um, this light is probably drawing everything out, but it gives you a receipt. Like if you want to feel like. You did the damn thing. You get a receipt as well. Let me see what else comes in the box. Oh, you also get a bag, um, which is really, really cute. I don't keep the boxes um, from these companies because I already have a lot of um, boxes. I don't need anything else in my closet. I do keep the bags because sometimes I'll just, if I have to throw something in a bag, I'll keep these. So I do keep these because they already folded. So you get all of that in the box so now on to the bag um the bag does come in the box and it comes in this duster so you also get a dust bag as well of course i keep the dust bag i use these for when i'm traveling oh and she cute is she not beautiful honey this bag is beautiful i got the gucci dionysus in a small this is the size small this is how it looks. It's in that taupe color. You know these come um, in different colors here. And I was actually, long story short, I was going to actually purchase this bag authentic about two years ago. But I talked myself out of it. So when I saw that they had this, I was like, oh yes, oh yes. So you already know it has the silver hardware. Um, this is a chain. The chain is very um, kind of heavy, but not too heavy. The bag is kind of heavy. When I first got it out of the mail, that was the first thing um, I noticed was like, whoa, this box is heavy. Like, what's in it? But it's beautiful. It is the small because, you know, the medium does have the back pocket. This one does not. Even though it's a small, it does not look like a small. This, to me, would be a medium in a regular bag. But this is considered the small. Um, and it's, it looks just like the authentic 
um gucci the the canvas feels really good y'all know this is the type of canvas they use gucci uses now it's kind of like in that waxy i'm going to show you my authentic bag with this type of canvas um just to give a comparison so this is the whole horse bit um kind of loop here which i love i love and it opens like this so it's a button here on the side that you just press and then it opens and then you have this flap this is authentic genuine leather you can smell it as soon as you get it out of the box it has this little pocket here just like a little small pocket you can keep like mail or anything like that something flat in and then you have let me take these out then you have the opening this is the opening so it's pretty big where you can fit things it has two compartments so you can fit a lot down in this that's why i say it doesn't feel like a um small but it is a small it does have a zipper in the middle where you can stuff things down in there too like um maybe your cards and things like that it does not have like a pocket here you know how some things have a pocket here with you with a zipper that you can stuff your cards in it this doesn't have that so i will use the zipper part to um stuff my cards and stuff down in it but this bag is gorgeous y'all this bag is so gorgeous this is the side the sides have the genuine leather suede um it looks just like the authentic gucci bag this doesn't look cheap the chain doesn't look cheap you know sometimes when we get replicas um the chain can look a little cheap but this looks like the real thing now i'm going to show you a comparison of the canvas with my actual authentic gucci bag that has this type of canvas okay y'all so this is my authentic um gucci horse bit camera bag that i brought maybe about two maybe three years ago i think two years ago so this is the same type of canvas does it not look the same it has the same texture um both of them feel this one you know the um the authentic doesn't feel any different from the replica it feels like the same really great um material craftsmanship so this is how it look the g's are not funny looking they match up the same it just looks the same it looks the same so i'm happy with that this is the only authentic gucci bag that i have in this new canvas because this is the new canvas um the old adventure style purses they had the actual real cloth canvas which i hate it because it gets so dirty so i only have like um vintage ones with the old canvas and my other gucci bag is pure leather so thank you koei bags this is really good for a person who's looking for designer wear for a, a, a fraction of the cost if you're not into replicas you know that's okay as well so let me hop into these outfits y'all and show y'all what y'all girls style up for you today all right give me a sec yeah so this is the first look this is the first early fall look that i came up with and i absolutely love her this is my style of dressing i love to wear show dresses over trousers or over jeans so this is actually a dress that i picked up from eloquy last summer and it does have the cutouts on both sides of the dress um my husband accidentally washed this i normally take it to the cleaners when he washed it it actually shrunk so i definitely can't wear this as a dress anymore i used i wore this as a dress last season but of course i still kept it because i think it looks really cool over top of jeans so yeah i paired it with a pair of wide leg jeans um not wide leg i'm sorry boot cut jeans and then i just have it on with these mules these are um a mule a pointed toe mule they're in kind of like a concrete color it does have like a pink band um on that as well but it's more of a concrete color you guys so um i just have on silver jewelry i got this chunky um necklace from amazon um last year sometime last year around this time i found this on amazon never worn it so i'm definitely going to be getting some wear out of that out of this this um for winter 
and then I just have on my Amazon um, the Bottega dupe earrings I have on a watch this is a mixed metal watch gold and silver that I picked up from um, Walmart that I picked up from Walmart it's probably not going to focus but it's pretty cute It's pretty cute. It's, it doesn't look too cheap. You know, I feel like it looks really good. And then I just have on a um, silver and blue um, bracelet over top of that. Because the chain, you probably can't see, but it has a little specks of blue in it. Um, and I thought it still looked well because I have on blue denim. So, I will style it up. Uh, let me take a spin for y'all because I never turn. So, let me turn for you. So that's it from the back. Of course, you already seen the side cutouts. So yeah, that's how it looks. So I'm gonna style it up and just throw on these shook silver shades. You've seen these um, a couple of times now on my channel. These are from Shein. So y'all, before I get most of my shades from Shein, Amazon, or Fashion Nova, and so. This is the bag styled up with it. Isn't she cute? I feel like this purse go well with the shoes because the shoes are actually a dark toe color, almost like concrete. And I've been looking for a bag for these shoes for the longest. The heel on this is about three inches, maybe three and a quarter, and they are comfortable. These are hands down the most comfortable um, heel that I have in my closet so that's how it looks on on the shoulder um so you can wear it on the shoulder you can wear it like this or you can wear it long strap as well the um strap is a little too short to wear crossbody but i feel like this is a little too large to wear crossbody anyway but i think she's cute so this is the next look I'm showing you it plain first before I'm going to layer up on this piece. But I just wanted to show you how you can take some of your summer pieces and transition them into fall. So I got this denim dress in fall. It's a um, Target Fuchsia Collective. I cannot remember the young lady's name, but I brought this during the spring. I did not get a chance to wear it. The dress was a little too big when I got it up in this area and around the back. Um, I forgot to take it to my seamstress. I just saw it when I was preparing to switch out my closet and was like, oh my God, I haven't worn that yet. So definitely wanted to get some wear out of this and not just put it with the rest of my spring summer pieces. So I'm showing you how to transition it. Now I'm going to turn to the back. You see that this is a full, now I didn't lose a little more weight because it's still a little big here, but you see how it's a halter back. So I just threw on a mesh see-through turtleneck. No, I do not have on the right bra, but it's the reason why I didn't switch my bra because you're not going to be able to see it when I layer up and the way I will wear it. So just the mesh bodysuit. I um, threw on a pair of black, um, not knee-high, but not ankle boots either. So I guess shin length boots that I picked up from Nine West, and these are pretty comfortable. Y'all know I had a foot injury, so I'm trying to stay out of heels. And when I do wear heels, I try to wear my most comfortable. And these are really, really comfortable. I have them in brown as well. These are the black pair gold accessories. So let me show you how I would do it up for a brisk fall evening. Did y'all see what I just did? <laughs> did y'all see what your girl just did? That's what I say, girl. The fashion girl and me think real fast. Because <laughs> I promise you, I just thought about these pieces in my head last night. Pull the items out and it worked. So this is a poncho that I picked up from the thrift store a few years back. Um, so I definitely want to get some wear out of this during the fall. The colors are beautiful. The rich browns and cognacs black i love this poncho now this is the one where the belt comes through and you tie it in the waist but i took that belt swished it around the back tucked it i'm gonna turn around in a minute tucked it behind the long piece in the back and tied it just so it can give me a little bit more um definition in the waist and i think child you can't tell me this is not cute 
not cute wear this is freaking adorable love it i do have my legs out today y'all know i normally don't wear my legs out so i'm going to turn this is the back it's a little lumpy in the back because the belt is here i didn't have anyone to help me tie it but i would tie it to where as though you wouldn't see that lump if i was to wear it out but isn't she cute that's what i say um oh i'm sorry if y'all can see my bra i probably should have changed my bra um, but I would wear it open like this. That's what I say about fall. Fall is so fun because you can add layers and make it you. Make it you. I just threw my K necklace because I didn't feel like pulling out anything else going through the jewelry. But I would definitely, I wouldn't wear anything chunky with this. But I would do layer, layered dainty necklaces with this just because I would keep this open. Of course I would do a black bra with this. A black bralette, something lacy, something sexy, and I would wear open just like this. I um, didn't do that today, though. Don't feel like all of that. I'm not going nowhere. I'm just showing you ladies. Uh, is she not cute? Let me see. Girl, she is cute. She is cute, y'all. I love the shades with this. The orange tint on the lens is bringing out all of the full rich colors. Of the poncho. Did I say this was a cardigan or a poncho? It's a poncho, ladies. And then I will pull out my little Chanel. -y. This is also by Koei Bag. So Koei is getting a two for one for this video. This was the last bag that I told y'all I picked up in May from Koei Bags. They sent me this for review. Love this bag. Get so many compliments off of it. Yes, this is a replica too. But yes. Is she cute? Tell me what y'all think. So this is the next look. And I think she is cute. She may not be for everyone. I wanted to mix in some of my favorite pieces. Um, if y'all been watching me for a while, y'all know I love me down some pleated skirts. I love pleated skirts. I have quite a few in my closet. Um, I'm loving the denim trend. Y'all know the denim trend is everywhere. So I mixed it with denim. And then I love me a good blazer and a good um, sling back or even middle. So I definitely decided to bring in all of my favorites and make it into one outfit. It may not be for everybody. It's a little different, but it's definitely for me. And if you are a fashion girl like me, you'll get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, I didn't, wasn't going to wear it. This way in the beginning, I, um, I actually have a um, turtleneck, like very thin um, mock neck top type of turtleneck that matches um, the skirt perfectly. So I was going to do that. I wasn't going to wear a blazer and just the denim um, kind of apron um, together, but I cannot find that. <laughs> I'm still in the process of trying to flip my closet over, not quite yet. But I'm in the process. But I thought this was a cool option too. Definitely a little bit different. But I love her. Do y'all love her? Because <laughs> I love her. I think she is cute. Let me turn. This is the back. Now let me get into the pieces. So the blazer is definitely thrifted. It is a Ralph Lauren blazer. Men's style blazer that I picked up a couple of years ago. The skirt is from, I think the skirt is from Target, but don't quote me on that, but I think the skirt is from Target. This is very old. You can find pleated skirts anywhere. The denim belt, y'all remember, I made this belt a while back, so I decided to do that because I have been seeing like skirts to where it has the denim at the top and the pleated skirt at the bottom or the maxi kind of stretchy skirt at the bottom and I love that so I decided well let me try it with one of the homemade belts that I've done because you know I have made a couple of these belts and then I threw it on with these mules oh they are from fashion to figure last year keep an eye for fashion to figure um drop for their winter um I'm sorry fall winter shoes because they do it they straight rock they do it their shoes are very comfortable these are comfortable i told y'all i've been having issues with my foot but these are comfortable and then i just threw it on with a very old bustier that i picked up from h&m so i'm going to style it up of course with shades 
Y'all know I haven't been getting into my styling here lately. So I would throw on these Bottega dupes. These are from Amazon. And I think these work perfectly. Let me see. Yeah, they work perfect. Y'all, my hair is a mess. I need to get my hair rebraided. But this is the look with the glasses. And just to make it pop a little bit more, I was going back and forth whether I wanted to wear my cognac clutch or if I wanted to do a top handle bag, kind of like, um, you know, the big purses are in. But I decided this is going to make it pop a little bit more. So I will probably pull this out. Let me see. Yeah, I think she makes the outfit look a little bit more interesting. But this is what I came up with. I'm so happy today I didn't have to pull out any shapewear. I'm comfortable in all of the pieces that I've shown you so far. And the next two pieces I'm going to, um, outfits I'm going to show you, I'm not going to wear any shapewear with that. So it feels good to be able to feel comfortable in your clothes without someone just, you know, pressing you in. So this is the type of outfits I like where I don't have to wear any shapewear. I can feel comfortable. Even with the heels, the outfits with the heels that I'm showing you, they are a very comfortable shoe. So what do y'all think about this one? So this is the next outfit, and she's really cute and comfortable. She's really comfortable. So, of course, this is something that I'll wear if I'm going to have drinks with the girls, if I'm going for early lunch, or even if I'm going to run errands. This is very casual, but it's still fashion forward. It's giving a little bit of an awe moment, but still casual in the same sense. Just because of this kind of netted, like, um mesh tilly type of sheer dress i picked this up years ago y'all from h and i'm gonna say maybe three to four years ago i don't wear it often because it is very itchy i will say that it's very itchy it's uncomfortable to the skin but i do wear it normally i wear it in the um colder months because i'll layer it with like a turtleneck underneath just so i won't feel that itchiness on my skin and that's what i'm probably going to do again this fall winter but right now i wanted to show you how it would look kind of dressed down i just threw on a moto jacket over top the moto jacket is old fashioned to figure um kept on my go accessories the jacket does have silver um hardware but i still have on my silver and go watch i don't mind mixing metals some people do if you don't like mixing just Go ahead and change it up for silver accessories. Um, what else? I rolled the sleeves up on my jacket. They're not staying up. If I was to wear this outside, I probably would put a rubber band on it so it can stay there. But I'm going to wear this outside. I just got to find... I'm going to have to put a turtleneck on with this just so it won't itch. But I think she is adorable. I paired her with a pair of sneakers. I'm not going to get too much into the sneakers because i'm going to show it to you in my next video which will be a haul but the shoes match the jacket and she's cute she's cute <laughs> nothing else needs to be said she's cute she's a cool girl casual moment let me turn to the back this is the back of the dress she is a moment so let me go ahead and style it up i will keep on We'll go ahead and throw back on the shades that I had earlier with the whole poncho moments. She's a vibe. She has an orangey tint to it, which makes it blend very well with the shoes as well as the biker jacket. I think she's cute. And then I'll pull out this because it's a whole casual moment. We're running errands. We're having lunch. We're going to sit at the bar and get fried. <laughs> we're not going to get fried, but we're going to get what? Tipsy, baby. So, I'll do that whole casual moment. Um, if I was dressing it up, because I have dressed this up before, um, of course, I want to have this type of bag. But it's a casual moment. Let me see how I look, girl. Let's see how I look, girl. Girl, she is cute. She is cute, y'all. What y'all think? Okay, y'all. So, this is the last and final look. I'm looking at the camera now. I hope my feet wasn't cut off in most of this video. I should have been paying attention. Hopefully you got to see you got to see the shoes and the whole moment. Um, because I haven't really been paying attention to the lens. 
Um, but anyway, this is the last and final look. I love her. This is me. Very comfortable, very casual, but still chic. This is my style of dressing. If y'all have been here for a long time, y'all know I'm a casual, chic type of girl. Period. So I think this is perfect for me. I have on this black um, midi skirt that I picked up from H&M last winter. I have on a white button down from X Plus Wear. I have on a pair of Adidas. We'll talk about that in my haul video that will be coming up after this one. And then I just threw on a sweater. This is a turtleneck sweater. I tucked the turtleneck under and just threw this over my um, arms, popped the collar a little bit, left a few buttons open just for, um, I'm pear shaped, so I need something elongating. So my neck needs to be elong um, elongated just because of that, as well as I have a very short torso. So I don't like anything really covered up. So I left a few buttons out. My bralette is showing. If you are modest, you do not have to button it down <laughs> this far. But I think she's cute. This is a moment. Let me turn for you all. The back. The front. She is a moment. So I always wanted to try this style. I've never styled an outfit up like this, but I always wanted to style it. I've been seeing it for like the last year now, now people, you know, wearing outfits of this sort. This is old, I mean, this is like old school, you know. I'm going to say back 2000s, maybe 2010, not even, maybe 2010, you were seeing a lot of people walk around like this. I just feel like when you have a sweatshirt or sweater or cardigan, any type of something thrown over, a white button down or even like a striped cellar type top it just gives you that preppy um yeah because it's a preppy style it gives you that preppy i got money hamptons type of vibe and i'm here for it i'm glad i styled it up today because i definitely will be wearing this out this will be a moment this will be a casual day date love it so i'm gonna style it up and just put back on those silver shades um, I do have on my silver Bottega dupes from Amazon. Again, I wish I would have had a necklace like a, um, not any, I have a chunky silver necklace that wouldn't work. I wouldn't have wore that with this. But I wish I had um, some type of silver dainty necklace just because my neckline is open. Don't have it. Need to buy some silver accessories since, I guess, Beyonce put us on the silver turn, honey. Um, and then I will go back and go ahead and throw on my Gucci Dionysus, my Koei bags. Koei bag. So, I think she is cute. I will hold her like this. Of course, you don't want to wait on the shoulder because you have this straight over. But I think she's a moment. Let me see. Yes, girls, give me all money. It's giving all money. All money, honey. <laughs> and it's cute. It's comfortable. Casual, but still dressed up. I would definitely wear this to a date, lunch date. Um, um, walking downtown, around the monument would be cute. Just cute. Just cute. I um, can't even say anything else about it. I think she's cute. I definitely will be giving this outfit a spin around the block. So tell me what you think about this one. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you like all of the pieces that I shown you today or all of the looks that I shown you today. Let's get into it, y'all. So I loved everything. Um, if you have watched this long, go ahead and like the video, thumbs it up as well. Leave me some comments. Let me know which outfit you like the best. Um, and thanks again to Koei Bags. If you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Did you not like the looks? If you like the looks, go ahead to that subscribe button and click it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.